called DMV Sub 2 Taxi Awareness Charity Event. Please bear with us while we get the mic straight, but I will be your hostess with the mostess today. Just so you're clear. Okay, we have been planning this event for several months, and we are honored and humbled that you took time of your, out of your busy schedule to attend. First, a few housekeeping items. The restrooms are located right outside the door, directly in front of you when you step out. And if you would be so kind to please put your phones on vibrate, silence, or do not disturb, whichever works best for you. I know we have people here that are very busy, especially on the weekends, and we respect that. And we certainly have areas designated for you to go handle your business if you need to step out. Please be respectful of everyone that you meet today, and especially when our guest speakers are speaking. Lastly, let's have fun and feel good about showing up today and appreciate the opportunity to give back. I would like to give you a high level of who we are and what we want to achieve. Eminent Estates and AV Visionaries are members of a DMV Sub 2 family. We are real estate professionals that are part of a larger community under the leadership of a gentleman by the name of Pace Morby, and if you don't know him, look him up. I have a couple of guest speakers that will tell you a little bit more about what we do and how we do it. But most importantly, we are people that have a passion to help others and to give back to our communities. We first heard about Ataxia from one of our brothers in our sub two community by the name of Adrian Gillis, right here. Adrian is raising his daughter, who has a taxia, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity to network and raise awareness about it. A taxia is a degenerative disease of the nervous system. Most symptoms of a taxia mimic those of being drunk, such as slurred speech, stumbling, falling, and in coordination. Ataxia treatment involves a combination of medication to treat symptoms and therapy to improve quality of life. People affected by ataxia may experience problems with using their fingers and hands, arms, legs, walking, speaking, or moving their eyes. Ataxia affects people of all ages. Age of symptom onset can vary widely from childhood to late adulthood. Complications from the disease are serious and oftentimes debilitating. I have a few guest speakers that will tell you how this disease has directly impacted them and the people that love them. Next on our agenda, we were going to have an icebreaker to loosen things up, but since you guys did such a great job of that and you followed directions when I asked earlier, we're going to skip that part. So I'm going to go right to team introductions. And first, I'd like to introduce Eminent Estates. I'm one of the founders of Eminent Estates, and my daughter, Jael Thomas, where are you? We're a newly formed mother-daughter duo and a force to be reckoned with. One is a nationwide real estate investor, that would be me. The other is a realtor in the DMV area, an advisor, and investor-friendly agent for a nationwide community. We believe our work mirrors your life, your dreams, and building your legacy. We will be the catalyst for change in real estate by revolutionizing the way the industry does business and serves others. We believe that real estate is more than just a house structure. It's building families and communities. We have partnered with another company called ACN to provide concierge services to our clients. And if you're a real estate professional, open to creating a recurrent revenue per transaction, we would love to have a conversation with you. 
please visit our website at www.eminentestates.net and follow us on social media. Our other partners, AB Visionaries, Adrian Gillis and Victoria Claiborne. begin their journey of entrepreneurship in real estate because they wanted to create genera generational wealth and knew it couldn't be accomplished with a regular W-2. The journey has taken them from obtaining knowledge of the real estate industry, then to wholesaling, then they scaled up to acquire Airbnbs, and most recently, multifamily properties. One of their goals is to own 100 doors by the end of 2022. Woo and in the process, <laughs> and in the process, will help a lot of people along the way. They believe in definitely giving back to the community. So before you leave today, make sure you connect with them. The purpose of our collab collaboration today is to give back to our community and to bring awareness to Ataxia and to help raise funds that they require for necessary resources and research to find a cure. One of our goals is to provide support to as many people with ataxia as possible, especially those in underserved communities, both nationally and internationally. The nonprofit organization, African Americans with ataxia, was created to help shift that paradigm. Please visit their website at www.aawataxia.org. We want you to hear firsthand from the people living with the taxia and the challenges they encounter to receive assistance and support. But before the guest speakers come up, we're going to have a solo by Kyle Alexander. He's a member of our Sub 2 community and also a musician and producer. Kyle, would you please come forward? Please give him a hand. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm going to need a quick second to uh, set up, but maybe what I want to do is. Um, I don't think I'll be able to hold this mic and play and sing at the same time. I got you. So it might be a little weird. We're going to have to see. <laughs> but what, what I want you guys to do is I want you to scan this because the song that I'm going to do, if you can't hear what I'm saying fully, I want you to be able to see it because um, I think um, this message, and I don't know how much time we'll have, but uh, there's a few messages that I wanted to share with you to kind of pass along. Um, so if you're able to zoom in on this and just scan this, it's my contact, but if you scroll down, it has my um, album project. And basically, uh, you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to, but I just want you to scroll to this particular song. I want you to scroll to that song and, um, and look at the lyrics so you can kind of see what's going on with it. And uh, basically, the, the song is about not stopping yourself from feeling like you have a purpose here on, on earth still. Um, as long as you have breath in your lungs, it might feel like it's too late, but literally you can make a certain change, you can make a certain impact today. Um, sometimes some of us feel like we are too, um, our voice is too small, or like the world is so big and we can't, um, we can't have the impact that we want because somebody else is doing it or someone else is doing it better than us. Yeah, please. Someone else is doing it better than us or something like that. And um, the truth is the impact that we can have on one person's world is unique. So we have that extra push that we have to do what we need to do to be our own full selves, our sincere selves, because it's not necessarily about, oh, can I change the world? You can change one person's world yes. with, with your action. Yes. So, um, and, and the third thing is, typically everybody does this no matter what age. A 25 year old person says, oh, I'm too old. I should have I should have done this when I was 17. Um, and then older people look at them and laugh. And I think the same thing happens, but no, no matter what age you are, 
You can do anything in five years. <laughs> you can do a lot in three years. And with some focus in six months, you can do, you can do all sorts of things. So no matter what age you are, you can, um, you can dream still, and you can live and you can achieve. So um, that's what the song is about. We're gonna give this a shot and see, um, again, if you, can, if you can hear me. It's the first song, it's called Can't Stop, if you guys have any trouble finding it. But um, we're just gonna go for it and see what happens here. Uh, this song has a lot more um, stuff in it. <laughs> so this is like the exclusive uh, one instrument version, but we're, we're gonna go for it. You wanna throw it away. You tried and you tried, still it feels like there's no way. Feels like you've emptied the tank. But before you give in, listen to what I've got to say. You can't stop dreaming anymore. You're not done and over. You've got so much within you. The world is longing for what you'll do. You can't stop reaching anymore. You're not finished here yet. You've got so much within you. Love is calling you to break the mold. You feel you blend in the crowd. The world is so big, your voice will just get drowned out. But you've got to turn it around. In somebody's world, yours is the most important sound. You can't stop dreaming anymore. You're not done and over. You've got so much to do here. Love is calling you to break the mold. Last one. It feels too late to improve. The years have gone by. It seems like they're all behind you. But that's the wrong side of the truth. As long as you breathe, today is all you need to move. You can't stop dreaming anymore. You're not done and over. You've got so much within you. The world is longing for what you'll do. You can't stop reaching anymore. You're not finished here yet. You've got so much within you. Love is calling you to break the mold. The mold. Oh, I'm dreaming, dreaming of a better day. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm on the way. Tomorrow, tomorrow is too far to wait Because today, today is all I have to make the change You can't stop dreaming anymore You're not done and over You've got so much within you The world is longing for what you'll do You can't stop reaching anymore You're not finished here yet You've got so much to do here Love is calling you to break the mold Oh, 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 oh. To break the mold. Oh, 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 love is calling you to break the love is calling me to break the love is calling us to break.
Uh, that was just the perfect song for today. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Definitely resonated. So we're going to keep moving forward um, with the program, everyone. And I have two special people that I'd like to come up. They are part of our sub two community. I don't think a lot of you are aware of what we do and how we do it. And so um, they are leaders in our community. As I stated, we're nationwide. And we're growing every single day. And these two gentlemen are recognized by our leader as leaders in the DMV community and our larger community. I have the utmost respect for them. I am so grateful that they took time out of their busy schedule to come and speak with you today. But they do know when I ask, I expect a yes. <laughs> They're young enough to be my son, so you know how that goes. So without further ado, I would like for Mamadou Diallo and Daryl Ellison Jr. to come forward and share. <laughs> Thank you, Stacey. Thank you. So, first of all, I want to thank Stacey and Adrian and Victoria for having me. Um, super nervous. Like the past couple of days, my first time speaking in front of people. I had no clue what I was going to talk about. I kind of just figured it out like 10 minutes ago. That's that call. If I get a show of hands, like who's in Real Estate, who's in Sub 2 right now, who's like, Actually going to yes, okay. 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 nice, nice. <laughs> so I want to talk a, a little bit about about that and not even the real estate aspect of it, right? Like the main thing that I learned in sub two is how to be a giver. Right? That's what our mentor preaches every single day. Give, give, give. Right? And that's how I live my life now. Before so just a backstory about me, right? Around this time last year, and I'm in people even know this. I was actually pretty much homeless, right? I'm living on a, a buddy of mine's uh, in his living room, right? On that air mattress that got a hole in it, right? I'm waking up every morning with my back touching the ground. It was crazy, right? <laughs> right, so um, I just decided to make a choice, right? Like, I had my back against the wall. I could either fold or I could make a choice to change my life forever, right? And that's what I did. Every single day, I'm grinding cold calling, hand dialing, right? Just trying to figure this out. Um, <clears throat> and I ended up doing this up too, and I realized like, yo, this guy is just preaching, give, 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 right? And I did not have that mindset at all, right? And I realized giving, having a giving mindset, that's having an abundance mindset, right? The other way is, is, is scarcity, right? Because you're scared to give, you think that the more you give, the more other people are gonna, gonna take it, and that's less for you. Yes. Yeah. Right. So when you give, that's telling the universe, like, bring me more. All right. right? I'm, I'm All right. completely okay with, with giving away what I have. Right. So in return, you're going to get way more. Yes. Right. You're going to get way more. And it's just giving without without expecting to receive. Right. So that's that's the main thing with sub two. That's why I love it so much. It really changed my my mindset. Right. Not even talking about real estate. I was, I was on my phone on my podcast earlier today, and I'm talking to somebody who we're trying to get him to come into sub two because he has the same mindset, right? They give him mindset. And I'm telling him about these cool deals that we're doing, and I'm like, bro, that's secondary. Like, we don't even, like, the deals, like, when we meet up, we do these meetups, we don't even really talk about real estate. We're talking about how can we help other people? Yes. How can we do this? How can we do that? Right? How can we elevate each other? Right, and that's that's the beauty of this, and I just want to give as much as possible. I think today, I'm so grateful to be here, right, because today's given me a, a great opportunity to give back, right. Um, we were just at Clever Summit. Is everybody, is anybody here at Clever Summit uh, a few weeks ago? And, yeah, nice. And what was the main thing they talked about, right? Making money matter, right? You can make all the money in the world, but if you don't give it back and make it matter, yeah. what is the point? Come right? Yeah. Right? That's that's why we're here, that's why we want we want to help. Right? Um like so last year, like I said, I was living on my boy's living in his living room, right? But I knew that I had something different for me. Like I was on the same path as them, 
I just needed somewhere to stay, right? I'm not from Maryland. My whole family was in Pennsylvania. My dad's like, yo, just come home, come home. I'm like, no, like, I can't do that. Like, <laughs> I got really comfortable being uncomfortable, right? So, like, these guys, they're having parties every weekend. They're doing stuff like that. But I already made the choice, like, no, nah, I have something different for me, right? I need, I need to do something way bigger. So these guys are having parties. I would go to my car, read books, listen to podcasts, listen to audiobooks, right? Stuff like that. Um, and it's paying off, right? Like last year was not gonna lie, it was really tough, right? But nobody would know that. People thinking from the outside, like looking in, like, oh, this guy's killing it, right? Like I'm, I smile on my face, like you would never know. Last year was really, really tough. I just a few months ago, I had to borrow, borrow money from this guy. Like, <laughs> like he'll tell you, like, I, and I'm not ashamed to say it, right? But that's again the power of this community, right? I met Mama do oh, about a year ago now, and. It's my brother for life, right? Just because we're in this great community, we have the same mindset, we want to give back, we want to help, right? Now, next month, I'm on track to making over six figures. Woo! 25 years old, right? I graduated college in 2018 with a biology degree, right? Didn't do anything with it. <laughs> right, you know, right in the real estate. I had no clue that I would be where I'm at right now. Right, and that's all just just from giving back. Like I had a one-on-one -on -one with Pace um, a few months ago when I was built stuff, right? And what he told me was, you need to give back to the community, right? Once you give back to this community, it's gonna come back to you, right? And instantly, I, I'm the type of person, once I hear something, I put it, I implement it, same day, right? So I start putting my call recordings in the sub two group. I start doing like underwriting zooms for people, just helping out however I could. I didn't have the money, but I had, I had some knowledge, right? And I could help people, right? So that's what I started doing. Once I started doing that, my business just starts taking off, right? I got people hitting me up. Yo, can you help me with this? Can you help me with this lead? Can you help me with this lead? Right now, we have about like 10 deals under contract right now. Half of them, wow. half of them. Over, over half of them are from other sub two students, right? We, we got a lead from a sub two student, right? And I don't do much disposition. So if you guys don't know disposition, it's you know, selling the deal, right? I don't do much of that. I outsource that with another sub two student, right? Everything is squatting up. Everything is providing value. And it's just, just skyrocketing my business, right? So if I could say one thing, right, if you guys can take one thing away from this, it's just give. Give, give, give. Even if you feel like you don't have nothing to give, I promise you, you do. I promise you, you do. If you need to meditate, figure out what you do that is, is special, right? We all have a superpower, yes. right? Whether yes. you realize it or not, everybody, every single in here has, every single person in here has their own superpower that they can share to somebody. And just like Brother Kyle was saying, you don't have to reach the whole world, right? If you change one person's yes. life, oh, yes. that can, Put the light in somebody else, shine that light in them, and they they can change somebody, they can change the world, yes. right? And you are responsible for that, right? So everybody has a superpower. You got to figure out what that is. Once you do, be super super loud about it. Tell the world about it, and help as many people as you can, right? Even like like I just said, I had just a few three four months ago, I had no money, and I was helping as many people as I could. Right, even though I needed the help, <laughs> right? I needed the help. Like I, was, I didn't know where, how to pay my rent. I needed the help, right? But I'm just addicted to helping people at this point, right? And once you once you get that, once you start doing that, I promise you it's gonna come back. I promise you. Um, but yeah, that's that's really what I what I gotta say. Um, if you guys are interested in real estate, interested in, in sub two. I'd love to, to teach you some more about it. Um, I really didn't want to talk too much about real estate. Really wanted to talk more about like the mindset, giving the giving mindset, and just just making a choice, right? Things would get way harder, right? I used to play football, right? And that, that's one thing that, that I learned that things get way harder before they get better. Yes, right? Yes. Way harder before they get better. That's why, like football, right? You have you have camp, right? Two a days. You, right before the season starts, you have two practices a day. You have a weight room every day. You got to wake up at five in the morning, right? They make it really, really hard, right? For you to have 12 games in a season, you have like 
over 100 practices, just had 12 games, right? Exactly. It's crazy, right? And it's, I, I realize this, this mentally prepares you for, for things to go wrong, for things to, for you to go through adversity, right? Because things have to get worse before they get better. And once you just shift your mindset and you realize, like, okay, I'm at the bottom right now. There's only one place to go. Right? I can only go up, right? And just taking that and just, just running with it, like, I'm telling you, your life is going to change. I'm telling you, take, this is my testimony for that. Right? Like, my pastor was so well, right? so, Definitely, definitely, if you're going through anything right now, have faith that it's going to get better, right? And believe more than anything that it's going to get better and just take as much action, give as much as you can, help as many people as you can. I promise you, your life will change. Oh, hey, everybody. How is everybody feeling? Great. So I'm not going to put my short ass here. <laughs> but guys, so my name is um, Mama Dujiello, and I've been in real estate now for about two years. Um, I discovered real estate randomly on YouTube. Um, I had my 95, I was working in Belgium, great rubber job, I was working for the government. And I forgot what I was looking for, but I've, I've never enjoyed really waking up in the morning and punching a clock. Mm -hmm. Never. So I was always trying to do something on the side. I've owned um, car wrap garages, I've owned uh, wedding halls where we rent it out for people that want to do weddings and events and all that fun stuff. And I think I was at my break and I was looking for a hall to rent. Then I stumbled on the video talking about wholesaling and real estate. And I got into this rabbit hole of just watching again and again and again. And I'm like, what? You can just go out here, put a property on the contract, and just sell the piece of paper. Anyway, it didn't make sense to me, but I kept on watching and watching. So um, here's the thing. I, I think, you know, we, we're not here to talk about mostly about real estate. It's mostly who's, who's not in real estate here? Yeah, okay. But um, who's also not interested in being in real estate? Yeah. So who... <laughs> but who, who don't have like a, a dream, a passion, you know, uh, maybe a business idea that they, neg they never took action on, they keep procrastinating because they think they have time? Anybody? Even if it's not real estate. Right? Okay. We, we all have done that, right? So for me, um, what real estate have done for me is I've realized that everything in life is about mindset. Yes. So it's never been about real estate. Every real estate deal I've done, I've realized is mostly I've got the deal because I've solved a problem. Mm -hmm. I've got the deal because there was a family. There was, you know, uh, a person that a piece of Real estate is stopping them from moving on with their life, the next chapter of their life, right? Um, and so um, I realized in order to be an entrepreneur, in order to accomplish what you want in life, um, you gotta completely shift your mindset, you gotta change circles, right? I used to hang around people where we party from Monday to Sunday, right? <laughs> and so I have to change that. I have to change my friends, I have to start, I have to start reading, um, and, um, Joining the sub two community that we were talking about here made me realize even more importantly what you need more than just friends, the right friends, is you need a community. Mm -hmm. And one of the, so when I discovered real estate in Belgium, guys, I've decided, you know what, I'm going to do this and I'm giving myself six months to quit my job. It actually took me three months. I quit. Mm -hmm. I took a one way flight ticket, no returns, and I came and I started doing real estate. And I started doing live part time, and then I was trying to do this real estate. I was literally anybody here familiar with co calling? Okay. I was co calling from my lifts at BWI Airport. Okay, guys. So when you go to the airport, if you're a lift driver, there's a line. There's a big line. I was going there for a reason because, like, it can take you an hour to get a, to get a customer, right? And so within that hour, I can sit there and 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 die people, right? And so I have, right now, I have so many DMs from people saying, hey, I can't do it because I don't have the marketing money. Um, or I have this business idea and I can't do it because I don't have the money. I'm like, 
Yeah, but you have what you have is excuses, right? Because for me, when I quit, most people from my family started making fun of me. Number one, right? Let me tell you, if you, if you have an entrepreneur mindset, one thing we can agree on: all entrepreneur type people, right? We're often like in certain period of our our life, we're jack of all trades. We're trying to find who we are. What are we passionate about? Right? I want to do art. I want to do movies. I want to, you know, I want to do whatever, real estate. I want to do whatever, right? Until you find that one thing that becomes like a drug and you get addicted and now you're highly focused, which is okay, right? But oftentimes, the people that are closer to you won't understand that. And so they feel like, like you're jumping from one thing to another. You cannot keep a job more than two years. It's like, oh, now is this next thing? And hold on, so you discovered it on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? So, um, <laughs> one thing I realized is that, you know what? They actually don't have to believe in me. Right? They don't have to believe in me, and the reason being is because I've never given them a reason to believe in me in the first place. Right? If you're known in your family and in your circle as a jack of all trades, it's your responsibility to go ahead and change that name first. Right? So, it's not, it's not the responsibility to believe in you. But it's your responsibility to go ahead and prove the concept and give them a reason to believe in you. So they started making fun of me. I was living in my life, man. Like I had my clothes thrown by the window. Out. I wasn't living at the house. I was sleeping there, driving lifts and all that fun stuff. But ultimately, I, start, I, I decided, you know what? Anybody that get in my car will know who I am and what I want to do, which was real estate, which is my identity, even though I'm driving a lift right now. So I've decided if you step into my car, by the time you leave the car, you're gonna ask me my name twice because of the conversation we're gonna have. Is that any leaf driver here? I might be your landlord, be careful, right? <laughs> and so that, that's the mentality that I have, right? So my first deal came through me driving for Lyft. He's literally a guy, I picked him up at BWI, dropped him off and I was showing him on the phone, hey, this is what, I, this is what I'm doing, part-time, this and this. Do you know anybody who's looking to sell a property? And he's like, yeah, there's a property here at the corner being vacant for, I think, two years, right? Nobody knows where the neighbor went. But, uh, I found the guy, my first deal, that was my first deal, it was, uh, I think, 68,000? 68,000 I made on that deal. My first deal, just talking to someone. So that was that that's all before I joined so too. Now, my mindset wasn't really like well fixed yet before I joined so too, and the reason being is because I was going on, on Facebook and trying to network with people. What I found on Facebook is like it's a lot of people that say that know what they're doing, absolutely have no clue. <laughs> and so here's what happens sometimes. You have an idea, you're trying to open up a business or whatever, and you have one momentum, which is that first deal, and then three months, four months goes by, and nothing. I literally almost gave up, because what happens is, when you call in for houses, 80% of people will never sell you the property at a discount. But I realize I'm talking to a lot of people that have problems, they have true problems. I'll give you guys an example. I was driving lifts, I went to Baltimore, I dropped off somebody, and there was a sign in front of the door that says, we'll sell by owner. I called this lady, single mom, uh, homeschool teacher, just got divorced, three kids, and property needs work, she's trying to move to Idaho. She's been trying to sell this property for a few months. Nobody, no li listing agents, no cash buyer. What do I mean by cash buyer? Is a fix and flipper that only buy houses cash, right? Wasn't able to help them because they owe way too much under mortgage. And when I talked to the lady, um, she was like, nobody can buy my property, I have to sell it for $78,000. And I realized she's trying to sell it for that because that's what she owed. But every realtor that comes there is telling her, yeah, you gotta fix it first before I can list it. Mm -hmm. Well, the issue is, if you already cannot afford your mortgage, how can you afford to fix any property to list the property, yeah. right? Yeah. And the cash buyers, as a fix and flipper, uh, if anybody here is familiar with any fix and flipping, you gotta buy it at a discount to be able to make a little bit of profit. That's just, so everybody was coming in offering her 48,000, 45,000, 50,000, whatever. 
And I was like, I, I can help this lady. So I reached out on Facebook. I was like, I have this lead. I need help. I don't know what, what I'm doing. I was like, brand new. And um, three people came. They said they knew what they were doing. They didn't know. We came in. We liked this thing at 78,000. We couldn't sell the deal, whatever. And that's where I stumbled on the video of Pace Morning. I was watching again YouTube again, guys. Like YouTube, you guys use it. There's no student loans on YouTube. <laughs> we can use YouTube. Okay? I know a lot of people with a lot of student loans and they don't know nothing. Okay. <laughs> so um, I was watching on YouTube and he was talking about this thing called creative finance, and I realized, oh my God, that's the solution for this type of family, this type of seller, this type of person, right? He was talking about how can you buy a property by taking over somebody's mortgage. And so they can move on, you can get caught up on their arrears, and then we start making your payments and all that fun stuff. And I ended up, um, by that time, guys, I was so frustrated dealing with people that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so many deals that I've lost. Uh, you know, the momentum that I lost, it was like, and, and with the family, because obviously you got bills, you quit your job a long time ago, got kicked out of the house. And I was about to give up before, before I joined Sub2. There's people that saw my testimony on <laughs> Sub2. I was about to give up, literally, guys. So I decided, you know what, I called the lady and I said, listen, I have the solution for you, but I don't know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to figure it out. So th that same day, I called Pace's team. I joined uh, his mentorship. Again, guys, <laughs> me and the Leaf story, I was in, in a Leaf when I joined. <laughs> and when I joined this community, I realized, oh my god. The reason I was struggling and I got frustrated and I wanted to give up on my dream, which my dream is not real estate, guys. My dream is to, I'm very passionate about everything I learn, I want to teach, I want to help people. It's not about, I'm, I'm passionate about real estate just for the cash flow that it provides. But I'm not passionate about it for the houses, right? There's some, some people that are passionate about purely for the houses. And so when I joined, I realized, you know what? What I was missing is a community. What I was missing is people that are behind me that got my back, it doesn't matter what happened. And that took my uh, confidence from like one to 100. And completely, guys, completely changed my life. That deal, we done it two days into the mentorship. I, I did that deal, made like 19,000 selling that deal again. But the more I spend time with this community, the more I realize, you know what? Everything in life is about your mindset. It's about, you know, um, at some point, you gotta get rid of the, I have time. I mean, how arrogant can a human being be thinking that tomorrow is promised, mm -hmm. right? right? Thinking that if tonight you go sleep, tomorrow you're gonna wake up. There's people that die every single day that have no diseases at all, yeah. right? And so it doesn't matter what the idea is, doesn't matter what the business is, this is how you gotta look. If you're waking up every single day, going and working for a boss, for, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, I don't care if they pay you $300,000 a year. <laughs> Nobody will ever pay you enough yes. for you to be wealthy or leave anything to your kids. They will always pay you enough for you to not quit, yes. right? And so um, giving your life to somebody from Monday to Saturday or Sunday, some even extra hours, because there's so many bills they need extra hours and not allocating any time, not even 10 hours a week, on your own dream that you have, and we all have it. Doesn't matter what industry, real estate, whatever. It's like, put action into it, and perfect action, and, and make it happen. Because at the end of the day, unless, the, unless people know who you are and what you're trying to accomplish, the universe is not gonna help you and put those tools and those people that you need in your way to help you accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. And so for me in that lift when I decided, you know what, everybody that get in my lift, I'm going to talk to them about real estate, it was my way of letting people know who I, who I am, but also my way of putting out into the universe that, you know what, this thing right here, I'm going to make it happen, doesn't matter what happened, right? And so the universe just started putting, you know, opportunities and the right people around me, and, 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 and that's it. Yeah. So for me, the main thing I wanted to leave with you guys here, if you have any, any, um, you know, uh, once, like, by the way, guys, please, my English is self-taught. Uh, <laughs> so don't, so don't pay good. attention if I stumble. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I learned English in a refugee camp. I, t I taught it to myself when I was 12, 13 years old. So anyway, so guys, if you have any dreams, 
any goals in life that you want to accomplish, honestly, uh, the most important thing that I've learned throughout these two years is take action. Just start. Just start. Starting can be anything. It can be anything. It can be talking to your neighbors about what you're trying to accomplish, right? It can be, you know, um, starting to follow every network online, you know, wholesale groups that are doing what you're doing and networking with those people. And I think the most important thing for me was changing my circle of friends. Once I changed my circle of friends, and my new friends were all in real estate and successful, it was done. It was done. I sacrificed my Saturdays. I stopped going to parties. Instead, I was on YouTube and reading. Right? And so, and so here we are. So, guys, community, giving, when I say giving, giving doesn't always necessarily mean money. It could be time, sweat equity, whatever, advice, whatever. It's the, it's those, those are the most important thing you can do to let people know who you are and have the universal word of whatever you're trying to accomplish in life. So guys, thank you so much, and uh, sorry for the love you. Thank you, Mamadou and Daryl. I really appreciate you guys. I mean, they're really trailblazers in our community. And as you can see, they're young and they are they want to help everyone succeed so if you have not had the opportunity to meet them please make sure that you do before you leave today so i'm going to continue to move forward we have a couple of raffles guys but i'm going to wait to the end because i want you to hear the very special people that we have invited from our community that we're going to partner with and um this is a charity event they do have a website and a link so that we can donate, and they do need our help. So first and foremost, I'd like to bring up Adrian and Aaliyah Gillis. Um, Adrian is part of our Sub2 community. He's the reason that we've decided to partner instead of just having a traditional networking event, but to bring awareness to Ataxia and to tell you his personal story, as well as his daughter, who is here with us today. And so, if you don't mind, we have Adrian, and then two more speakers, please, guys. This is so very important. This means so very much. It touched our heart and our spirit. Please give them your undivided attention. Adrian, we have the floor. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out to this event. This event means a lot to me. Um, it means, means a lot to my daughter. And this is the main reason that we're putting this event together. <clears throat> you have to give me a minute. That's all right. You think I have? I'm grateful to be part of this amazing community of go-givers, led by Pace Morby. Our mission for this event is to give back to the community and give back to the awareness of Ataxia. The reason why, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason why I want to bring more awareness to Ataxia is because my daughter, Aaliyah Gillis has Ataxia. I am passionate about doing whatever is necessary to help find a cure. This charity event is one of the stepping stones to begin to that journey of this event by starting this event. This condition that I had no knowledge, knowledge, no knowledge of until I found out that my daughter's mom had it. And I really didn't, didn't, really didn't understand it then. Uh, So my daughter started showing signs of it, and uh, it started to progress even more through the years. Ataxia is a, a rare neurological disease. It is progressive, affecting a person's ability to walk, talk, and use fine motor skills. Over the past few years, my family and I have watched my daughter go through various stages and symptoms of this condition. We just wish we, we could take her place but we know that that's not possible. So we try to do everything that we can to be there for whatever she needs, everything, anything that she needs, our family is there. 
In spite of the symptoms that my daughter goes through every day, she's an amazing daughter, and I wouldn't change her for the world. She is super creative, and as y'all can see, her paintings, her resin art, her jewelry that she makes, everything is on display over there. If y'all want to purchase, she has all her information on the sheet over there. Y'all can uh, go take a look when you have time. I love it when she makes when she makes different jewelry and things for me because I know it comes from the heart. It's it's, it's all out of love. And everything she makes is so, especially when she does things for her family, is so, is so particular to that person. She makes things for me, she makes things for my mom, she makes things for Sheila, she makes things for all of our family. All you do is have to tell her what she want, what you want, and she has no problem with doing it. Her resin art is amazing. And she, and she just learned this, I think, just by watching things on YouTube or getting it off the internet. And she just took it and ran with it. So it's just amazing, just because she has this condition doesn't mean that she's not capable of doing things. She's very capable of doing many things. She's not letting this condition stop her at all. And I love her to death for that. And she has my heart always, always for that. And she knows that. I have a necklace on right now that I, since I put it on, I haven't taken it off. I took a shower with it, everything. I don't care, I just leave it on because I know that she made it and it's special to me. I'm very grateful and honored to call Leah my daughter. And I still, I will not trade her for the world. We created this event to bring our real estate community together and network, but more importantly, bring awareness to Ataxia. And with the efforts of this community, hopefully find a, a cure for this rare condition, we want more people to know about this condition and we can grow this community even bigger. And I would ask that y'all would help in any way possible. And we're asking for your donations today. Thank you. Woo! Now I want to introduce my daughter, Leah Gillis. try not to get emotional because every single time I try to talk about my condition, I start to cry. Okay. 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 At the age of 12. And it was hard because I had to cross and take care of my mom. See, my mom struggle with not trying to be a disappointment to her children. And I understand she tried her best. Brother going to into the nursing home when I was only the age of 14 was difficult because I wanted to stay taking care of my mom. But I couldn't. First, I like to say that just because my legs aren't strong enough. Doesn't mean that my brain isn't. Right. My therapist always tells me that you may have this condition, but you were so creative. So you can think of so many things to keep your brain active. So I took that into mind and got my degree in becoming a certified party planner, making three businesses. came up with three businesses and I do it all only for fun mostly though. <laughs> I do what I love to do and this condition will not allow me to stop being special in my own way. Yes. This condition won't allow me 
to continue doing the things that I love doing. This condition won't allow me to stop being the person I am today. This condition won't allow me to stop being loved by my family. This condition will not allow me to stop being myself around my dad. This condition won't, won't allow me to stop being the best aunt that I can. This condition won't allow me to stop being the best sister that I can. This condition won't allow me to stop being the best granddaughter that I can. And this condition won't define me as a person. Thank you, Leah. You know, Daddy loves you, right? Yeah. Always, always. <laughs> Yeah, let's give it another round of applause. <laughs> if that story doesn't touch your heart, I don't know what will. And if you're not grateful, I don't know what to say. Because there's people going through challenges every day. And then we wake up and are concerned about some of the things that we go through, but then you think about a leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take an assessment. Yeah. So now I'd like to bring up, well, one of that, two of our guest speakers that we have come to build a very strong bond with, tell you their story. It is just as touching as what Aaliyah and Adrian shared. They've stepped out of their comfort zone and created a nonprofit organization that we must support. That we must support. Mm -hmm. So if you will please give Letitia Diggs and Veronica Dennis your undivided attention. I would greatly appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. When I was 36 years old, I broke out and broke my left ankle. That was the start of this debilitating illness that I now have. I never thought that this illness called spine, spinal cerebral ataxia will befall me. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Leticia Diggs. I am the wife of almost 27 years to the same man. All right. The All mother right. of four gifted, powerful, and beautiful children. Come on now. I am a sister, daughter, cousin, niece, friend, and an aunt. And aunt. I am also a licensed cosmetologist. Right. Hair used to be my passion. I had to find something else that fulfilled me, so at the urging of my husband, I am not only the founder of the African Americans with the Taxi Association, but I am a licensed, bonded, and insured notary public and loan signing agent in two states, Maryland and Virginia, and Washington, D.C. <laughs> At the age of 38, my husband noticed me walking along walls and started his research. I knew that my mother and grandmother had an illness that was rare back then, and they called cerebellar cerebell cerebell ataxia. I'm cerebellar degeneration, I'm sorry. I thought I would never get this illness because I resemble my father's side of the family more. I had two younger sisters who both were diagnosed before I even started displaying symptoms. One has since passed away. We assume from complications of SCA3, but that's another story for another day. Which led me to believe that my assumption was correct. With my, my husband's research, I made an appointment to see a neurologist. 
upon walking into the, the office to perform my exam, the doctor looked at me and immediately told me that I had a tax here all on the left side. What did that, what did he mean all on my left side? How could he diagnose me with, and he hadn't even checked me out. These were questions that I want immediate answers to. So of course I did ask. When asked the question about what he meant, it was all on my left side. He answered, his answer was answering both questions at the same, at the same time. I had something called nystagmus which meant my eyeball was dancing uncontrollably. Fast forward 14 years, living in a state of denial for what seemed like half of those years. Although I, I would have unexplained for all daily, I did not recognize this thing called ataxia. About five years ago, when my speech was much better than it is then, I thought that I would spread awareness by hosting a podcast. That was not enough, so back to the drawing board I went. I asked myself the question, is there anyone who looks like me who offers support to my kind? Mm. Honestly, I did not know of a group. I told my husband about the group that I was envisioning, and his response was, no, I don't know of a group like that that has grassroots as its proponent to get the message out about a tax year. From that, this association was born. In July of this year, African American who was a tax year will be two years old. And we have Woo! over 280 members. That is what I consider a milestone. I face many challenges there. I now have to shower while sitting. I have to have assistance to go up the stairs. Cooking for a meal, cooking a meal for my family is much more difficult. Hand washing dishes is almost impossible, and every chore must be done from a seated, seated position. In conclusion, I would like to thank the eminent estates group and AB Visionaries for, for hosting this event. Veronica Denny, whom I never asked to do all of what she does. She sees something needs to be done and does it. And each of you, for your donation you gave, whether great or small, it is much appreciated. Now I will introduce to you the team that is responsible for me maintaining some of my independence. My husband, Eric Diggs, who is, my, who is most patient with me even when I lose patience with myself. My firstborn, the doctor, Taylor Anita Diggs. My secondborn, the Jill of all trades and the owner of Lose Buns LLC, Alexandria Nicole. My thirdborn, Elena Agnes, who is the family financier, and she also is doing a beautiful job in taking care of me. My last child, who happens to be my one and only son, Eric II, who cannot be here today. Thank you all so very much. In October 2018, I was distraught, to say the least. I was losing what I thought to be my divine purpose in teaching middle school for over 21 years and forced into retirement. I thought I was being forced out of my comfort zone, plus I was good at teaching. But thanks be to God, I found purpose with African Americans with the Taxi Association. And my new virtual classroom is now 280 students. Woo! Hi everyone, my name is Veronica Denis. I am grateful to the Royal Connection comprised of Adrian Gillis, Victoria Claiborne, Stacey Thomas, and J.L. Thomas for hosting this event. To my husband who could not be here, Charles Denis, for standing by my side. 
my other family, Desiree and Melanie, my Uncle Ron, and my aunt and uncle, Maury and Renee Bonner, and to my Attractive community, including Letitia D, who, and others who embraced me and helped me feel less alone in my daily fights. I am a wife of 23 and a half years, a mother of two, an accomplished student with a bachelor and master's degree, a former middle school teacher of 21 years, a church member of First Baptist Church of Glen Arden, a sister of a younger brother, a niece, an aunt, a cousin, and a friend to many. At the age of 46, I also became a woman with a diagnosis of spina cerebellar ataxia type 2. Thus, was forced to retire from a career I loved, and I felt my sense of purpose was diminished. Truth be told, my unusual symptoms of fatigue, trouble walking a straight line, and eventually tremors in my head and legs began in my late 30s. Despite my daily challenges, I am living my best life with the taxi. I celebrated my 50th birthday in March. A taxi is a rare progressive neurological disorder affecting hand-eye coordination, mobility, speech, gait, swallowing, bladder function, and can cause abnormalities in eye movement or double vision. Heart function, tremors throughout the body, chronic fatigue syndrome, muscle spasms, and sleep disturbances, all caused by the shrinkage of the cerebellum. Ataxia progresses at a different rate for everyone and can be based on the number of repeats in a certain gene. Ataxia is known as a rare illness because it is estimated that one in every 100,000 people in the United States are affected by some form of ataxia. Some ataxias like mine are genetically inherited, comprised of over 50 different types, but others can be acquired from brain injuries, excessive drinking, strokes, autoimmune conditions, and effect infections. Ataxia can affect children through the elderly. Ataxia can rob people of their ability to walk, to drive, to speak clearly, to swallow properly, and to function normally in society. Keep in mind, ataxia steals the ability to speak clearly without judgment from the world and can steal one's ability to live independently. The risk we face every day is dangerous falls, which may lead to broken bones or other serious injuries. There is currently no cure for this illness. Though there is a treatment for the symptoms, some more effective than others, and of course, they come with side effects. I am personally affected by mobility difficulties caused by tightness in my legs slurred speech at times, chronic fatigue syndrome, uncontrollable tremors, painful muscle spasms, and choking. My husband said to include jokes in my speech. <laughs> so here goes. <laughs> There's a joke on Facebook in the attractive community. I do at times choke on my own spit and even air. Furthermore, I often trip on flat surfaces or going up a flight of stairs. These skills are my superpower. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I sometimes walk with a four quad cane to aid in my mobility, but mostly I walk by holding on to my husband's arms. I can no longer stand unassisted for longer than five minutes. I'm currently taking medication to eliminate the tightness in my limbs, the tremors, and muscle spasms. Early on in my diagnosis, I was referred to a yoga instructor who now runs a chair aerobics and chair yoga class for people with ataxia. 
With a desire to improve my mobility, I participate in these classes three times per week. I have even learned ways to decrease the choking and slurred speech. But the debilitating chronic fatigue syndrome sends me to, to a nap at least twice a day, always on the couch after dinner during TV time with my husband. My husband would agree that I need to nap more often than I actually do. <laughs> Chronic fatigue syndrome is the most challenging to me as a productive wife and mother whose very existence is ruled by getting things done. I refuse to surrender completely to my chronic fatigue like many others with the taxi. We are warriors. We keep fighting. Right. We keep pushing to live our best life. Yes. Living with ataxia has made me more intentional about what brings me peace mm -hmm. and how I spend my time. Yes. Right. Right. I decided to live my best life educating others about ataxia, traveling with my friends and family, and participating in the card ministry with my church. Due to the urging from my husband, I found a clinical trial with Biohabian and the University of Southern Florida. I am now in my second year with this investigative drug aimed to stop the progression of my ataxia. I'd like to share one of our members, Tanya Marshall, her journey with ataxia. I had the pleasure of meeting her at the annual a tactile conference in Vegas in 2019. She suffers from an unknown type of ataxia and has lived with this condition for over 30 years. Her journey with ataxia inspires me because of her resilience to live with ataxia with no real treatment or cure. In her own words, bruised but not broken, Tanya was diagnosed with SCA unknown in 1991 at 35 years of age. As a child, she did have encephalitis, which is a brain infection, and the doctors claimed that her ataxia was caused by that infection. Tanya remembers it so vividly because her mom passed that May of ovarian cancer and doctors gave her the news that September of an ataxia diagnosis. How could anyone forget those dates when they change your life so significantly? Devastated with the news of her mom and the news of her own health issues, she moved in with her dad. It just seemed like it was the best thing to do. She stopped, also stopped working in the hospital, her job of 10 years so she could spend time with her six-year-old daughter and her dad. Tanya's dad helped her with, helped her even though he was dealing with his own health issues. She was dependent upon him. Years went by and everything was fine, but he was diagnosed with colon cancer and passed away in February 2010. Now, at the age of 65, Tanya's story continues. She travels quite often, many times by herself. It's been 30 years since her diagnosis, but she's still here. It is a struggle from day to day, but Tanya refuses to focus on that. Instead, she focuses on the things she can do. Tanya has learned throughout this journey that even with a diagnosis like a taxio, she still can enjoy her life. But this diagnosis is just giving her a different perspective of life. She's found exercise to be the key to slow the progression of the ataxia and use of different devices designed to help to improve her lifestyle. Angela Burke is one of our newest members who suffered a stroke which resulted in her having ataxia. We often interact via messenger, trading encouragement, inspiring one another to keep fighting. In her own words, Angela's ataxia doesn't have a type, 
and as such is it appears to be from a stroke in July of 2020. SCA was considered, but she was told by the medical community that they didn't feel she needed such a, an expensive barrage of tests with no family history. She tries to do as much as she can every day. Angela works on building her stamina to walk farther. She is walker dependent. Walking with a cane appears to confuse her brain. Neither physical therapy nor her neurologist can tell why. Despite my challenges and the difficulties I face every day, I have found purpose. Despite my doctor's prognosis of losing the ability to write legibly, I am a proud member of my church's card ministry, where I address sympathy and goodwill cards to families nationwide at least once per month. I also send cards to friends in my taxi community to encourage them at their lowest moments. And I moderate a Facebook group, now a nonprofit group entitled African Americans with the Taxi Association. Our nonprofit group holds monthly meetings where we educate members about a taxi for professionals such as a physical therapist, a speech language pathologist, a yoga instructor, etc. We also provide information about a taxi specialist or research opportunities to members. We bring awareness to our members about clinical trials and motivate our members on Facebook to keep fighting through the daily challenges. I am proud to be a part of a community where we encourage each other and share resources to help one another. As I said before, my virtual classroom has now over 280 students. My life is once again filled with purpose. With your presence today, we hope to spread awareness of people suffering with the taxia. More awareness will lead to more research for a cure of this dreadful disease. More awareness will lead to more research dollars being spent by the government for treatments to stop the progression or cure this illness. Medicare only covers one assistive device per person every five years. Your donations today will be used to gift our members in financial need with assistive devices like canes, walkers, shower chairs, portable ramps, or manual wheelchairs to help our community to live their best life. We also intend to provide financial assistance to those in our community who struggle to live only on Social Security, disability benefits, and Medicare. Our membership includes all ages, from young adults out of high school, adults in their 20s and 30s with young children, retirees in their 40s and 50s and beyond. On behalf of our membership, Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Our heartfelt gratitude to everyone present today. Thanks a million to each of you. There aren't enough words to express our gratefulness for your presence today and for your donations. Raising awareness and giving to our Taxia community is truly God's work. Again, thank you. Everybody that is able to stand up, please stand on your feet. I don't know what moves you all, but if the testimonies today did not, then I suggest you take a self-evaluation. Because what the ladies had to do today was not easy. Some of us standing here today can't even speak in front of a crowd of people. And in spite of their condition, they were able to share with you 
be a person of story. That speaks volumes. So I would like for you, as a show of our gratitude and appreciation, to give them a round of applause. <laughs> for allowing us to be a part of your life and your journey. Thank you so much for sharing what you go through, what you have to live with. And for the people that love you, they're part of your journey too. And from this day forward, you can count on the Sub 2 community having your back. And I just want to say today, this is a charity event. And I expect you guys to donate to this organization. They have shared with us the resources that they need, the struggles that they have. And it's our responsibility if we operate in love to give. So Veronica, will you please share how they can give? So we have a website, a taxi, well, um, excuse me, aawataxia.org. On that website, there's a PayPal link that would lead you directly to a PayPal where you can give a donation. It is tax deductible, okay? And it gives you an email address. You can also forward your donations there. For those of you that did not know anything about a tax deal, raise your hand. Look around the room. Now, if this isn't a sign that we need to raise awareness, and help this community, I don't know what is. But I want to take this opportunity to again, thank you all for coming. We don't take it lightly. Time is one of your greatest resources, and I know the weather did not cooperate. But again, I say, the people that are here in this room were meant to be here. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so at this time, I'd like to call up the people that made this happen. My daughter, Jael Thomas. Adrian Gillis. not had an opportunity to come and say hello and meet these ladies, please take the opportunity to introduce yourselves. And the second thing that I'd like for you to do, if you will, please donate today before you leave. If you need any assistance with that, with that we got to shout you. And my sub two community, where you at? Sub two stand up. And I do expect to exceed it. Let's go. Let's, Let's get go. it. Yeah. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Let's have some fun.